Hiya, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel, then I'd really appreciate if you could click on the little red subscribe button down below as that would mean so much to me if you could do that. I think about 80% of people watching my videos aren't subscribed, so if you do find yourself coming back to my channel, then please do click on that button. It only takes two seconds and would mean so much to me if you could do that. As for today's video, I thought I would do a Planet Organic haul as I recently got a little bit carried away online. <laughs> a lot of products I can't buy out here back home and it's kind of expensive to get international delivery. So I thought while I'm paying for it, I am just gonna go full out and order anything and everything that I want from there because I might as well. And who knows when I will next be back in the UK and able to get these things. So hopefully, I mean, it should last me quite a while. So I did end up spending over a hundred pounds, but <laughs> I'm sure it will hopefully be worth it. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this haul. I hope you enjoy this video, smash thumbs up if you do, and let's get straight into it. The first brand I'm gonna start with is Livia's, which um, I've got quite a few of her things here, and this is just one of her products. But this is like one of my classic go-to brands, and her, well, they've been out a while now, but her most recent product is her Dunks, which I'm definitely sure I've mentioned in a video before. I do quite like these, haven't had any for ages, as I might as well stock up on them while I can. My favourite, oh my god, I'm nearly dropping them everywhere, but my favourite two flavours of hers are the Maple Peanut Drizzle one and the Caramel Almond Swirl. I always alternate between these, so I did buy four of each of those flavours. I did also then get one of the other flavour, the chocolate hazelnut twist one. At first I was like really loving these ones, but more recently the other two flavours have definitely become more of a favourite, but I could just get one of those just because sometimes I'm randomly in the mood and craving the chocolate ones instead. But yeah, as you can see, I did uh, stock up with quite a lot of those, and that's not the only products from her. I did also get a few of her... <laughs> Dropped back here on the gonna put these down. I did also get some of her Millionaire Squares as well, which is one of her sort of original products and still love these. As you can tell from the number that I got of this flavour, I do quite like the salted caramel flavour best. And then there's also the chocolate orange ones, I got a packet of those, and also the peanut butter ones. If you like Snickers, the peanut butter flavour definitely remind me of that with the little crunchy peanut pieces in there. We basically got like a layer of chocolate, so obviously these ones it's orange flavoured, the other ones are just like plain chocolate. And then you've got a layer of like date caramel and then a biscuity base. If you love millionaire shortbread, anything like that, you definitely love these. I also freeze them because then it makes the chocolate like extra crisp on top and then the caramel in the middle is really nice and chewy. But you do have to like thaw them for like five, 10 minutes after you've got them out the freezer but it does make them taste so good. Another one of my favorite go-to brands is Deliciously Ella. And I did get some of her oat bars. These are definitely my most eaten product of hers. I have got here the apple raisin and cinnamon ones and then the cacao and almond ones. I just got two of each. And I did also recently order from Deliciously Ella herself on her website a big case of the peanut butter flavor, which are the new ones, which I hadn't yet tried, but I did try one yesterday and they are pretty tasty, I've got to say. And then also the apricot and coconut ones as they are like my classic all-time go-to favorite flavor. Because on her website you can only batch buy them, I only got two flavors because you get 16 in a box. So I did, <laughs> thought I didn't need every flavor with a massive box full. But yeah, I did just get a couple of the other two flavors as well from Planet Organic. I then got some of the Protein Ball Company Protein Balls. I just got a couple of the raspberry brownie flavor and then some of the goji and coconut flavor. I think these are, they might have one of the vegan flavor actually, because they also do some whey protein based ones, so ones that aren't vegan as well. But they're vegan flavors, they've got these two, and then I think there might be a peanut butter one as well. But definitely these are my favorite two flavors out of the vegan ones, so I would highly recommend it. You get like six little date energy protein balls in a packet. So I just like that because you keep like nibbling on them rather than just having one giant energy ball, you know, you keep like going back and there's more there. So these are the perfect kind of post-workout snack to keep you going on the go. I did then also order some more Trek bars. I got just a few of their original oat flapjacks as I do quite like just the classic plain flavor. And, well, it kind of says what it is on the tin, really. It's just like a giant OT flapjack. This also got extra soya protein added. So it's got 10 grams of protein per flapjack. So I do quite like to have these post-workout. They're quite a good snack. I also then got a couple of 
Poulsen raw chocolate brownie bars. These again are another classic go-to snack of mine. These are like a raw date bar, but unlike any other date bar, I've got to say I think I prefer these to naked bars, which are probably like most people's classic go-to kind of date-based bar. I just find these so like fudgy and gooey and I just love the texture of these. So I highly recommend. These are both in the Cashew Maca Bliss flavor. The Maca powder sort of adds a kind of caramelly taste to it, which I really like. But if you do want to try raw brownie, highly recommend you try these out because honestly, they are so good. This one's then a bit random. It's not exactly a snack, but I thought I would just mention it as I did get it in my order. And that is these Sober King brown rice pumpkin and ginger noodles. These are my go-to noodles. I absolutely love them for making things like stir fries, especially as I love making a peanut butter stir fry. And the gingery kind of flavor in these noodles just really adds to the taste. So I absolutely love these. And they only take a few minutes to cook as well, which is amazing. This brand actually for noodles in general is really good. I absolutely love them. Particularly if you want gluten-free ones, they have loads of different flavor options. I also then picked up a few items from Planet Organic themselves. And one of the things I need to get is their caramel apple pie pay paleo, paleo, I don't know how you say it, paleo I think it is, isn't it? Granola bar, I'm not paleo, but these granola bars that they have, also their berry one is really nice. I think I did pick up berry one as well, I should have done that. But the caramel apple pie one and the, is it super berry or mixed berry, I can't remember what it's called. Maybe they didn't have it in stock when I was ordering, but both of those flavors are so good. They're mainly sort of a nut base with dried fruit in there. So you've got that kind of contrast between the chewy and the crunchy textures, which I absolutely love. I did also get one of their triple chocolate cookies. I love their cookies. They've got some really good vegan gluten-free cookies and yeah the triple chocolate one is just probably one of the best flavors because who doesn't love all three kinds of chocolate in there and also the fact that it's got like a vegan dairy-free white chocolate in there is amazing i also got some of their chocolate chip and almond butter raw protein bars i did actually i was thinking it was weird that i only ordered one of these because i absolutely love these and i did actually order four but only one's turned up so i need to check out what happened with that but these are amazing, at least I got one of them, so that's a something. Maybe they could send me the other three, because I do really like these. But the texture of these, so if you love almond butter, I highly recommend. It's like a gooey, fudgy kind of texture, and then it's got the chocolate chips in there, which is so good, and it's also got 10 grams of protein in there. So again, for post-workout, it's a great snack to go for. Something else I did pick up from them are their dark chocolate-covered raisins. These are honestly my favorite chocolate-covered raisins. They taste so good. I think it's because they put vanilla in their chocolate, which just really adds to the flavor. They're also 65% uh, chocolate strength, so they are the darker chocolate, but they are quite nice and sweetly balanced with the raisins in there, and they are literally just 50% chocolate, 50% raisins. So they're really good. Highly recommend if you do love a good chocolate raisin. Sticking with the chocolate theme, I thought the last few things that I'd do would be anything chocolate related. So I did get some more Vive bars. I picked up literally, yeah, two of each of their sort of main core flavors. And they have got the peanut butter one, salted caramel and hazelnut flavors. These are so good. Again, I would recommend putting these in the freezer because they've got like a date caramel in the middle. It's got nuts in it. And again, in the freezer, it just makes it super chewy and I absolutely love the texture. And then it's covered in the dark chocolate Belgian chocolate coating, which is absolutely amazing. Highly recommend these. These are another favorite go-to of mine. And then the final few things are a few chocolate bars some of my favorite chocolate bars one of my go-to dairy-free favorite chocolates is definitely on bar so i have to pick up a few different flavors so i got their mini cocoa 60 percent chocolate bar their on bar centers coconut and vanilla chocolate bar this one is so good it's filled with like a creamy filling that reminds me of a kinder egg thing you know those mini kinder eggs that you can get with the white creamy filling that's what it reminds me of it's so good and then i also got their cocoa milk one which is a great sort of dairy free kind of creamier milkier chocolate and then also i did get their salt and nibs chocolate which is their newest flavor i believe and i have not yet tried it so of course i had to pick up one to try it. i picked up a big bar of this one hopefully i will like it then but i'm i'm sure i will because it's just like chocolate with extra chocolate pieces in there technically to finish off we've got two kind of salted caramel flavored kind of things one of them is this Loving Earth Salted Organic Chocolate, Organic Caramel Chocolate, 
which is like a literally like a block of caramel it's so creamy so smooth i think it's, it's cashew nut based and it is yeah it is so good i absolutely love baking with this one as well putting it in things like cookies works so well i'm making sort of caramel cookies it melts and goes all gooey and then like some of the caramel like crystallizes and it's so good highly recommend this if you literally want something that's like caramel and smooth but dairy free and then this one as well it's kind of similar in a way but this is the salted vanoffi hazelnut chocolate by the raw chocolate company again it's got a very similar kind of texture to this one in that it's like a salted caramel smooth creamy kind of block but then this one's also got little sort of chunks of salt in there and the hazelnuts add an extra crunch to it as well so that is really yummy and smooth and creamy and tasty as well and that is actually everything in our haul i can't believe we got through that i don't know how long this video is gonna be because there was definitely a lot of products in this video but hopefully you have enjoyed it i will just have to check out what happened to my other three protein bars because i really love those plant organic protein bars so hopefully i can get some more or get some kind of conclusion to that but also hopefully this video has given you some more snack ideas and new brands to try as well i hope you enjoyed this haul smash a big thumbs up if you did also be sure to click on that little red subscribe button like i said before if you are new to my channel because that would just mean so much to me if you could do that and there is also that notifications bell too that you can tap on so that you're notified whenever i upload and i'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video bye